Greetings, everyone. Faz here, bringing you the latest speculation about E3. Today, let's talk about Dead Rising 5. Now, I know what you're thinking. Faz, is there any actual evidence that this game potentially, possibly slide us in the hopes of our dreams actually might be announced? The answer to that question is yes. From E3's website, we have a listing for an unannounced Xbox One exclusive from Capcom's booth. Pure speculation at this point, but there is only one series that Capcom has traditionally given timed exclusives to and that was the Dead Rising franchise. Fresh off the rumor mill, so, you know, grain of salt from anything going forward, but this leak came courtesy of 4chan. Now, let's get the big elephant turd out of the room. Let's address the largest issue here. Dead Rising 4 is not canon. Hallelujah. 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 The leaks, we can see a few things. Firstly, the studio that took the series in a direction that a lot of fans, myself included, of the original and Frank West didn't really like is not going to be working on this title. They're working on something else, and more power to them. Better still, the entry will be returning the franchise to its roots, returning our time limits, character levels, experience, and survival escorts. I'll bet now it's functional brained AI, which I'll believe when I see, and not a moment beforehand. What's going to get everyone excited is going to be the return to focus on photography. Now, not just tacked on like the last game, but actually a core feature of the game, along with interrogations. That's going to be a game changer. That's what's going to make this game feel like the original Dead Rising, while capturing a whole new audience and bringing all the fans of the original back to the experience. Now, also, psychos are now back to being well-grounded psychopaths, born of broken souls of modern culture. Well, where that edge lord does come from? Anyhow, they're not going to be cartoon villains or insulting characters of the game's core audience. <coughs> Dead Rising 3. <coughs> 25 years after the original outbreak, we now see Jack, a new photojournalist inspired by the exploits of Frank West, finally gets his big break when an outbreak strikes his college town. Speaking of college town, it looks like we might get one of the biggest environments in the series to date, featuring a mall, a town, which will likely be like your traditional college town full of small stores, rustic college campuses, and a debt production facility, more commonly referred to as a college campus. What truly will make or break this game, though, is going to be its social commentary narrative. Dead Rising as a series has always attempted to make some social commentary on modern society. One focused on consumptionism, cows, beef. Two, focused on wealth and corruption it brings. Three, well, not really had a strong focus in that one. And four, you know, no, no, we're not talking about that entry that shall not be mentioned. Will the story manage to avoid interjecting politics into the narrative that so many other games these days seem to fail to not do? Will it be able to tell a great, engaging story that's thought-provoking? You know, we're just going to have to wait and see. But, you know, I'd like to know what you think. Let me know in the comments. And, uh, as always, peace out.